Hello everybody, Stoic here, and as you can tell, if you haven't known already by looking at the title of the video, I'm gonna play Dishonored. When I first saw this game, when it was, uh, you know, previews and stuff, looked really interesting, really cool. I was looking at it now, it like, reminds me a bit of uh, Half-Life, a little bit. A little bit of Half-Life, some Assassin's Creed, some Bioshock Infinite, looks pretty, pretty interesting. So, what do you say we get underway? Um, no mask, look to the right, a little bit more left. I'm looking at you. Slow turns. <laughs> That's really interesting. Um, just so it's not totally unbearable, let's just go with normal. You know, halfway there, halfway, halfway looking, looking to the side. Do that. Brightness, that looks okay to me. Uh, okay, it's, it's fine. I haven't, I haven't played yet, so, all right. You have just returned from a journey of several months, visiting the other nations in the Empire to ask for aid in dealing with the Rat Plague. You must deliver their diplomatic response to the Empress, whom you serve as Lord Protector. Dunwall Tower. All right. Corvo, if only there was someone else I trusted to send, so that you could remain near. But there is no one else. And the spy master was right to insist that I send you. Am I Corvo? It's a pretty cool name. The plague has taken so many, and we must find a cure. When you are near, my heart is at peace. She got a thing for me. Emily and I will count the days until you return. Emily? Hurry home and bring good news. Right. Renhaven River. Renha Renhaven River. Steady hand. That's it. Watch it. What's up, dude? Casting off. We're away. Whoa. Okay. Hi. What's up? Take us straight to Dunwall Tower. Yeah. Lord Corvo has news for the Empress, and we've come a long way. Yes, I am he, and I have news. Bring bad news. The sailors say there's a curse on us. Black magic. Superstition. For all we know, there's a cure for the plague by now. Maybe. We live in strange times. Yeah, like with that helmet Sending of yours. Sending the Empress's bodyguard away for a couple of months. That's unusual. I'm a bodyguard. Well, this was important. We need help with the rat plague. What's up? How's it going? Nice day. All right. Oh. I'm gonna raise up the water. Yep. Okay. I mean, you could just have a ladder. It'd be a lot, you know, simpler, but sure. What are you gonna do? The Flood? Be waiting for your news, Corvo. Hey, Mr. Twitchy Fingers. Lead the way. In the gazebo. Alright. I'd love to move, but you know, Jeff Kerno is taking so long. It's been good traveling with you, Corvo. Yeah. Huh. Oh, jump, wow. Run. Jump. Can't jump very high or run very fast. I wonder if that'll change. No diving. That water doesn't look too uh, sanitary, so I don't plan on it. What's up, guys? How's it? Do next time. There he is. Good boy, sir. Uh, sure. Welcome back, Lord Protector. Dude, you are burly. All right. This way. What's up, guys? How's it going? It's me, Corvo, Hello, Lord Protector. What's up? Uh, Emily, I'm gonna guess. Hi. Whoa. Will you tell me about your trip, please? Were there any whales? Wait. Uh, whales. Let's play hide and seek first. I'll cover my eyes and you hide. Uh. Do you have time? Mother's busy talking to that nasty old spy master. Okay. Um. Sure. Why not? Okay. Let's have some Here fun. We go. All right. Go ahead. 
Oh no, spread. Eh. Meet her under the stone bridge. Wait. Oh wait. What? Welcome home, Lord Protector. Who are you? Bald man. Stop moving, Campbell. And you, Corvo, welcome back. From wherever you've been. They sent him all around the Isles to beg for aid. A waste of time. My elixir will banish the plague from this city. Now keep still a moment, High Overseer Campbell. Maybe you should be working on that elixir, not painting this bald dude. Alright, so I think I have to meet with Emily first before we can play hide and seek. Play some games. Hello. Let's see if you're still good at this. I bet I'm not. I'll hide my eyes and count, and at the end of the countdown, I'll try and find you. Okay. Okay, I'm going to count to ten. Sweet. Find a place to hide. Can I just like leave? <laughs> to enter stealth mode, then stay behind cover to break line of sight with enemies and avoid detection while sneaking. Your footprints are muffled. All right. Sneaky, sneaky. I guess it's let's, let's just hide under here. I mean, this is a horrible spot. Eight, I was never good at hide and seek. Here I come. Oh, stay away. Pressing Q or E, you can lean around corners on you look ahead without being seen by enemies. Oh, okay. Here? Nope. Oh, he didn't see me. Whoop. So am I hidden like this? That's not. Cause I'm so good at this. Seriously, how do you not check this spot first? Is it just that obvious that you don't think to look there? Okay, you win. We should go now. So mother can see you too. Uh... I'm out. See, hello. Let's go. Come yeah, on. let's let's go. So I'm confused. Like, am I your dad or what? Did you see any monsters while traveling to the other aisles? My nanny says the big ocean's full of them, but I think she only says that to scare me. Old Nan? She's in this story too? Alright. I'm not so sure that painting looks like Campbell. Rude. That looks pretty good, actually. Corvo? It's not bad. What? Ah. Wait. She'll see you at once. Maybe will you give me more I hope lessons? so. Someday I'm going to climb up to the rooftop. Let's not do that. It didn't work out for someone else I knew who climbed stuff. They're sick people, not criminals. We've gone beyond that question, Your Majesty. They're... They're my citizens, and we will save them from the plague if we can. All of them. Very well. We will not speak of this again. Yes. Spy master, Mother, I can tell you're a dick. Is back. Thank you, Emily. Hello. Leave us, please. It's me. As you wish, Your Majesty. Get out of here, creeper. Skinny, creepy dude. Corvo. Pale. Two days early. Yeah. Full of surprises, as usual. You look like Vo Voldemort. Get out of here, Voldemort. Except you have a nose. It's the only difference I can see. It's a fair wind that brings you home to me. Follow me, Captain. What news have you brought? We should leave them alone. Um. Sure. So the thing that I have. I hope that one of the other cities had dealt with this before, knew of some cure. This news is very bad. We're at the breaking point. Don't just drop it. Cowards. They're going to blockade us. They'll wait to see if the plague turns the city into a graveyard. Uh... Are you okay, Mother? You seem sad. Yes, don't worry, darling. Mother is fine. Wait, where are the guards? Who sent them away? Mother, look. Creepy dude. What are they doing on the rooftop? What? Oh, Emily, hell. Come here. Oh, dang. Stuff's happening. Do this. Oh, dang. Oh, shoot. Press and hold. That. Perfect timing with blah, blah. Okay. Aha. Look out. 
You dead? All right. Corvo, thank you. If you hadn't been here. No more. Not again. Mommy! No! Get away from her. Oh, dang, dude. You bastards. Her. You're the only one. You'll know what to do, won't you, Corvo? Oh, don't you pin us on me. Ward us all. Look at what he's done. Yes, he's killed the Empress. Yeah, look at all the extra swords that are lying around. It was totally me. What did you do with young Lady Emily, traitor? Her own bodyguard. Ironic. I'll see you beheaded for this, Corvo. Bolt so pale. Okay. All right then. Six months have passed since you were accused by the royal spymaster of murdering the Empress and conspiring to abduct her daughter Emily, the royal heir. Now locked away in Coldridge Prison, the time of your execution draws near. Well then. I say it's Voldemort's fault. But that's just me. Coldridge Prison. Order shall prevail. This is your final chance, Corvo. Sign the confession and let me give you the rights to put your spirit at ease. Hell no. Ow, dude. Dude, that's not cool. Voldemort, that's get away from me. Now. Get out. Let's give the man some time to think. Yeah. Corvo, the Empress is dead. Her daughter Emily is hidden away, and no one will ever know the truth. Not my yes, fault. Unlucky you. Tomorrow you'll be executed. But it's for a good cause. This country needs strong leadership now. Someone to guide the weak. And that's where we come in. I bet. There was nothing personal in this. Even though you almost sank our plans. But it turned out well. You were in the wrong place at the right time. And someone has to take the fall. Like good your hair? Corvo. God! Take him back to his cell. <sighs> I'm going to enjoy killing you. You should eat, Corvo. This meal comes from a friend. Oh yeah? I see it glowing. That doesn't spell good news for me. I don't like eating glowy food. Alright then. Well, this has been interesting. Um Yeah. This is a tall cell. Anyway, so... Outside. Looks nice. I'm gonna wrap this one up here, and next time... Hello, rats. Cause of all the problems. And your white, glowy weirdness. I don't know. Weird color palette. Anyway. Uh, next time, we will eat the food. And probably escape, or something. I don't know what we're doing. So, until then, stay frosty.